We started talking with Chad and Hunter years ago. I mean, it's probably pre-pandemic days about doing it. And then we finally just one day said, let's just pull the trigger and move forward. And so we decided, you know, we've always wanted to partner with these guys because we love the Canes Ballroom, love Tulsa. That's what we're all about. So we I mean, the pandemic it. definitely kind of put it on hold for a while. Right. But um, yeah, I mean, we were we were super excited. You know, Renaissance is a great brewer, local brewery. and. And hopefully we're, we're considered a, a great local venue and, you know, oh, yeah. music and beer go kind of hand in hand, I feel like. And, uh, it's, yeah, we're really excited about the whole whole partnership. Yeah. I've already heard that after a few shows, they were picking them up off the, <laughs> the floor. Yeah. People want to take them with them. And we've had phone calls and emails from across the country uh, who have kind of seen sort of the news and been like, oh, can, well, can you ship them? You know, I, I can't do that right now, I don't think. I, you know, I hadn't even looked into that. but. Um, you know, I think at some uh, we're going to be able to sell them at the box office. I mean, if you're 21 during the day and you come down and you, you want one, I mean, or a four pack, you know, we, we can sell it to you. We wanted something that was pretty easy drinking, you know, that was, but, but yet we wanted a unique beer style. Um, so we came up with an Italian style Pilsner, which is a unique style that hasn't really caught on a lot, but it's basically a Bohemian Pilsner um, that we dry hop. So it, you know, you get some aromatics out of it, and it gives it kind of a lemon grassy um, aromatic, and um, so, but it's very easy to drink. You know, it's a lager, um, so it fits real well, I think, with the crowd here. But yet, it's still one of those craft styles that, you know, people are just now kind of discovering. So, with having this and having our name on it, I mean. And, and Renaissance, a local. I mean, we want to we want to support the local. And yeah, I think the first beer, the craft beer that David brought in was our gold, and so that was kind of the Cane's beer for for a while. And um, you know, we, that's kind of where it kind of started off. You know, because right. you know, I talked with David several times, a bar manager, and uh, he really liked it. And so you know, that's kind of where that all kind of kicked off. As we thought, why don't we make a unique beer for you guys and call your own? So. Yeah, I mean it's 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 I mean it's really neat. I it kind of always gives me a warm feeling thinking yeah. about yeah, I'm proud of uh, it. Uh, you know having our name on a beer. Uh, I used to always listen to the, I listen to the Edge radio station. They're always talking about their yeah. their branded beer or whatever. And so I'm like, yeah, wow, we got our own now too. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, <laughs> yeah, come down and hopefully enjoy a show and yeah. get a great Renaissance branded Canes beer. Yeah. <laughs>